Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Monster Hunter Stories 2. Last time we left off, we made the Rathian armor because I tried to get myself another rare Minoblos and failed miserably. So that was a very, very, very high point of my life. But uh, now we're going to go back to Kuwan Village. I also made the Anjanath. Uh, I call it an axe, but because it, it's definitely an axe, but it's considered like a sword shield. So it looks pretty cool. I'll give it that. All right, so what do we want to do? Um, actually, did we have any quests to turn in in previous areas? Do I have an amphibian egg? I don't know if I do. Uh, we can still do that, but I need my new partner before we do that. Roly poly problems. All right, cool. So let's just go investigate some new stuff here. So we have to go over here. I'm pretty sure I did most of my other stuff last time. I Do I want this Rathian armor on? Mm. I mean, I feel like it's honestly better than the Nargakuga armor. The only problem with it is it gives me fire defense, and I feel like not a lot of things are going to be using fire here, but it's fine. It looks kind of dumb. I mostly just don't like the helmet. Also, it, oh, well, boy, I didn't notice my shoes have claws. Okay, we got claw feet, too. I don't like that either. It's probably pretty good for kicking something, though. Fortunately, a pugilist isn't a class. Oh, wow, you look way different than the other elder. Hi. Hmm. Auspicious winds are blowing. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense that you look different than the other elder. You're two different people. But <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Excuse us, is this the village chief's house? Oh, chief, sorry. Ah, so you're looking for the chief. Yep, do you know who that is? You're looking at him. You look like you're straight up out of Banner Saga. Hold up, you're the chief? The one and only. Hmm, let me guess. You must be Avinia's friends. Precisely. Um, chief, sir, <laughs> we'd like to stay in your fine village for a while. If that's okay. Of course, of course. What's ours is yours, my friends. Ah, I knew something good would happen today. Stay as long as you like. Offering you hospitality is the least I can do to repay you. Wow, you're way nicer than the than the, the last elder slash chief. Uh? What's he talking about? Repay us? But we uh, didn't do anything. You can't hide it from me. A Rathalos rider accompanied by an unusual feline? You're the folks who save the world from the Black Blight. So you're saying you know who I am? But of course, everyone in Kuan Village does. Oh boy, this isn't gonna, this is gonna be bad for Naviru's ego. Wow, <laughs> I didn't realize I was this famous. Now that the cat's out of the bag, I won't deny it. It's me, the legendary feline Naviru. So you weren't just boasting when you said you're a legendary feline. Um, hello? I told you that before, right? Did you take me for a liar? Yes. <laughs> That's clawfully rude. <laughs> that was a great delivery. Just but even so, this isn't the same rider who... Okay, the dialogue was auto-advancing for some reason. I don't know how that got turned back on, but that was just great delivery. Did you really think I was lying earlier? Yeah. <laughs> just no hesitation. <clears throat> and chief, my good man. If you need help with anything, just ask us. Monster research, rebuilding the village, you name it. Wonderful. I'll be sure to take you up on that offer, especially since that pit opened up. Whatever it is, just let us know. Right, buddy? I'm glad to have you here, my friends. Come and see me at the windmills when you're ready. I didn't agree to manual labor. Naviru did, but I didn't. You can now use your house. Oh, cool, I just got a house. Expedition party has been added to the stables. Way, oh, that sounds like... That sounds like the thing that's in a lot of games now, where you can send, like, unused party members out on missions for you to collect resources and stuff. Is that what that's gonna be? Oh. Have you passed by the frozen lake in Loloska Wintry Way? 
Till recently, it was safe for children to play there. But now the place is plagued by Zamite, unfortunately. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see the, the, the kitties get eaten by a shark. Aren't you the legendary rider? Perhaps you could help with our Zamite problem. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's the baby ones, right? Zamite? Zamite's babies? Oh, and I like get to learn how to make flash bombs. You'll do that for me. Thank you so much. Please be careful out there. Popular old woman. Why are you so popular? What did you do? The popo are in danger. <laughs> That's just a funny line to see pop up. Just ominous. The popo are in danger. Are you really the famous writer? I need a hero right now. The popo are in danger. Nanjanath appeared for the first time in Loloska and it's hunting popo. Lend us a hand, will you? Yeah, popo probably don't know what to do about that. Ooh, Botek arc shot. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're so kind. Go and do what heroes do. Save the popo. All right, well, I guess. I, mean, I gotta fight a giant dinosaur that breathes fire. Does it breathe fire? Does Anjanath breathe fire? I think they probably breathe fire, don't they? I mean, I know they're fire elemental, but I don't remember if they actually breathe fire or not. Mm, man, the amount of time it's been since I played Monster Hunter World and my subpar memory are showing. All right, what's up? Legendary rider and feline, per, le per leisure to meet you. You made history saving the world from the black light. And the tales were true. Your head's so big, you don't look much like other felines. A meowsing. Yeah, you really don't look like other felines. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, Naviru's head is big because his ego is big. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Haha, <laughs> I know I'm positively claudacious, aren't I? You know, I could even let you all be my palicos. Legendary writer, may I please have an autograph? Get wrecked. One for me too. And me. Um, guys, I'm the legend here. It's me you should be fussing over. All you do is smell eggs, nerd. I'm the one that does all the heavy lifting. Of course, I'm not the one that did the heavy lifting in the first game, but that's beside the point. All right, so over here. If I talk to you, where should I put it? Oh, it looks nothing like Frostfang. Oh, you're making the- oh, the little- the little snowman. Dear Popo. Hello. Hey! Hi there! Oh, what are you doing dressed like that in Loloska? You must be freezing. Uh... I mean, Avinia wasn't wearing super poofy clothes. And I'm wearing a full suit of armor. I'd recommend Xamtrius armor. Despite its looks, it'll keep you warm. You won't even need to use hot mist. Oh, that- maybe that's the case with, uh with uh, Avinia's armor. Maybe she is wearing some sort of, uh, you know, thing that keeps heat inside of you in some magical way, because she had, like, exposed legs and it's snowing. More layers. Oh. Goodness, aren't you freezing with just that on? Hot mist is great and all, but if you really want to be snugly warm like a popo, then try some Xantrius armor. Warm and healthy. Guessing that teaches us how to make, uh, the mist. Change into Xantrius armor before you catch a cold. Uh, all right, um, where's the, the blacksmith is over here. Um, can't guarantee I'll use it, but I'll make it. Oops, forge. Uh, so Sam Trio's armor. I mean, this is the one that looks super cool. I'll give it that at least. It looks really cool. I think you need 12 to upgrade it, but I'm just gonna equip it, walk over there, do the quest. God, I look so cool though. Oh, man. Oh, I look super cool. Okay. What's up? Hey, Here's the Zamtros armor, like I said. Good. More layers. The bluey. Big XP for everyone. Uh, and then I think that was, uh... Create, um... The hot mist? Yep. I can do it now. Cool. Hey. What weapon Hi are you there. using? You know that the elemental property of your weapon plays a major role, right? Mount Lavina, for example, is inhabited by many monsters weak to fire. Not all, of course, but many. Okay, this sword was a good choice. Ever fought an Anjanath? You can make a fire elemental weapon from Anjanath materials. Um, hunting horn blood suck? Excuse me? Okay. Come and show me when you made an Anjanath weapon. Yo, what's up? I made an Anjanath weapon. Hey. Hi. You made an Anjanath weapon. Show it to me. Here you go. Already way ahead of you. Bloodsuck ability. This dark, eerie tune saps your opponent of their vitality. 
Okay, so it's just like life steal. Cool. Oh well, yes, it looks great on you, and you're gonna love the boost it gives the fire attacks. All right, cool. So, let's see if maybe this would be good armor to have, um, since most of the things here are probably ice elemental. But uh, I'm gonna keep wearing my Rathian armor for now. All right, so. Unless I can upgrade it to level well, 2, because if I can upgrade it to level 2, it might actually be worth it. I don't think I'll be able to, though. Oh, wow, I can. It's only 8. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, no, I only have 3 Zamtrios hide. Whoopsie. Or, wait, 3 left? Oh, I need I need 6 Zammite scales. That's what I'm missing. Whoops. Thank I can you. read. Okay, so... Now what? We do have an egg to hatch. What egg is that? Uh, head to the windmill area. I imagine if we do that, we're going to be fighting some stuff. The monsty, monsty expeditions. Yeah, we got to check this out. That's why you wanted me to come over here. Don't let the monsties left in the stables get bored. Send them on expeditions, and they'll find items and obtain experience points. Expedition results vary depending on the area and instructions. Choosing monsties that are well suited to the location raises chances of success. Okay, cool. So, expedition party slots. Hokolo Island, instructions balanced. Um, select field, select instructions. Gather a balanced amount of items and XP. More items and XP than usual. Um, so it would take 30 minutes. I'll probably do that one. A small amount of XP. Gather a lot of items. Focus on collecting monster materials. And focus on finding rare items. I think I'll do thorough. And we'll select you. Um hmm. Okay, okay. Rare item rate would go up. Oh wait, what you? Oh okay, so my base chance goes up a lot if I pick you because you're fire. Um so we want to have more coverage, I think. Uh huh. So I mean, you. Uh, I want to get the Rathian leveled up. Uh. Well, there we go. Now the success rate is maxed out. Mission success, base success, element bonus. We have two more slots. Uh, uh, rare item rate. I don't know what the element bonus means. Is that just a bonus, like, to how successful the expedition possibly is because I have elements, an elemental critter going? Or is that some sort of bonus that I want? Because right now I feel like I just want to increase the rare item rate and the base success chance. So let's send you and then uh, you would bring it up to 90% one of you guys. Uh, I want to level up my Nargakuga, so we're going to send them. Cool. There we go. And Dandelion's leading the party. Leading the charge. So depart. Cool, cool. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah, and then it'll... They have a 100% chance of succeeding. They'll get some free XP for it. Okay, that's a nifty way to level up some of my lower-leveled, uh... Monsties and everything. Alright, so... With that... I probably want to hit up the prayer pot here. We can go ahead and get our lunar luck for the day. Come on, full moon! Damn you. Tsukino, you just hate me. Gathering charm. Uh, nope, don't pray before we offer charms, because we might be able to level it up. Uh, I want those finding charms to be really good, is what I want. Uh, I'm going to use a finding charm, just because uh, I want that effect. The rare genes and eggs are the thing I want the most. So, boom. Let's go ahead and use the finding prayer as well. Cool. All right, so now let's go out to those windmills and see if we're going to be fighting anything. Uh, and I 
Yeah, we're still using these weapons. Alright, cool. Uh, afternoon's fine. I'm not fussy. Not today. Alright, so what's the deal with the windmills? I think they said Avino was the one that made these. So, yeah. They look very pretty. Those are some huge windmills! Majestic, aren't they? They're a symbol of our village's restoration. Havinia helped build them. Well, that one's not moving. One's busted, though? Ah, oh, yes. We still don't have the parts for that one. We'd normally get them from Loloska Forest, but the local monsters have been acting up lately. Well, I was wondering what you had on your back. I expected some sort of great hammer or something, but is that just like a wooden shovel? Or like, the, the thing you use to get bread out of the oven? Like that wooden paddle thing? There's that strange light, too. I can't risk exposing any of the villagers to danger. Now leave it to us, then. Those parts are all you need to get the last one spinning, right? You'd do that for us, my friends? We'd be ever grateful. You go ahead, Quasi. I'll continue the search for old Day Day. The local felines have offered to help. Worry about us, Anna. We'll make sure the, wind sh the windmill gets fixed up. Be careful out there. We will. Try. Attempt. Can't make any guarantees. You travel to Kuan Village to find old Dede, a Wyverian who may be able to help Ratha. The strange light-filled pits have been appearing near the village, which is currently under repair. You must enter Loloska Forest with Naviru's old friend, Avinia, to help her out. Avinia is now my buddy. Cool. Now, we can completely ignore this new task and go do other things in the previous areas. Like fight a, um, Tigrex and beat that boss that, um, I couldn't beat. So that's cool. Um, and you are level 18, so you're actually a lower level than, uh, Alwyn. Maybe I should level you up a little bit before we do that. Yeah, let's just play it safe. Let's let's go let's go do this thing, and then if I have time afterwards, I don't want to take the time to take the trip all the way over there and attempt it. If we're just gonna get our asses handed to us anyway, so come on. So, where do we want to go? What do we want to do? Probably want to beat up some popos because they might. I I probably need their materials, even though they're very cute. All right, and you nerds were. Oh yeah, we're cold. Ooh, I forgot about that part. Yeah, we need to. We need to deal with that. You're shivering, buddy. I know. I'm sorry. We'll use the hot mist in a second. I think the weapon you're using is a popo hunting horn. Ow. Ow. Wow, you do. Never mind. You guys do three damage. I'm sorry. I didn't actually mean ow. Um. So. Let's bring in... Ah, eh, we can't bring anybody else in. And you're... I could tell you to do a killer strike, actually. Let's do that. So, killer strike. Boom. And we'll get a double attack on this nerd. Or, oh wait, no, you're... Yeah, whoopsie. It's fine. Oh no, Reptar's frozen solid! Oh no! Come on, freeze claws, where are you at? It's got to take multiple turns for Freeze Claws to kick in. This is my fault for not remembering what the game told me just earlier. <laughs> but at least this Anjanath weapon does really good damage to you. Kablooey. Alright. So Popos aren't a total pushover. Ooh, it's retreating to a sin. Alright. Cool. Yeah, um... You have some catching up to do with me level-wise. So, we should probably get you at least up to my level before we attempt to go fight that thing. But also... Uh, that stuff. Hot mist. Wait, what is a grill? Excuse me? Tell you you're just with me. Oh! Okay. Cool. So we can just cook the meat outside. I, I don't really use the meat enough to bother, I think. But thank you anyway. It is nice that that's an option. A popo din. The spookiest of monster dens. Hello. Burn ointment. Ooh, jump. Jumpy jumpy over here. Oh, and there's a... 
<laughs> a baggie. I completely forgot about the baggies, I'm gonna be honest. <clears throat> and now I'm laughing about it again. <laughs> oh, baggies. Hello. And you guys were speed, so let's go ahead and get Doofy in here. And we're actually nice and cool now, so we're good. Which is extra good, because Doofy's weak to ice, so we wouldn't want you to get murked. Boom. I feel like Doofy would be a ground rock type, probably. Man, Frostfang looks so cool. I kind of love Frostfang. Whatever your sleep attack is, it's not going to work. Out of here. Wow, having this, um... Having this Anjanath weapon this early is... Very useful. I would say. I would say it's- I would say it's quite useful. Cause yeah, a lot of the things here do just get murked by a, uh, fire weapon super easily. Give me that blue mushroom. Alright, and the eggs should be over here, right? Yeah. Hey Popo, sorry I had to murder you. Oh, I thought these were some gold bones. Darn it. Well, I already walked back here now. Small monster bone S. Oh, there's some gold bones though. Monster bone L. And a shiny beetle. Alright. What's up? What you got for me? A rare egg immediately. Kinda stinky. And it's light as a feather too. So that's the egg you want? I mean, it's rare, so why not? This is just a popo. So, probably the best we'll do with for the popesters. The Pope posters, not the Pope. Pope is a very different thing. All right, frozen herbivore egg. Oh no, it's dead. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's yeah. I, I know it's supposed to be frozen. North Lavina Everden. Oh, cool. We already got access to an Everden. Might want to go in there and fight some some Angie Naths and stuff. Uh, how about down here? And, yeah, there's the old Everden. And that's actually where we're supposed to go, too, so I guess we can just keep going this way after we do the Everden stuff. But I want bottle caps. Bottle caps, bottle caps. Alright. Uh, doesn't really appear to be much there. I thought that was a monster, that weird Gurren Lagan anti-spiral thing. Wait, are you- are you like frozen conchus? Oh my gosh, you are! Conchu blue! These things were... technical, I think? So, let's go ahead and hit him with that. The bluey. Oh. Very low damage from, uh... Very, very low damage from the sword. So, I'm guessing, uh... Hammer's the way to go on you guys. I gotta squash you like a bug. Even though you are weak to fire. Big damage. I think that's a one hit on them too. No spray? I mean, I, I don't know. Using ice against an ice type doesn't seem like a super good idea, but... Yeah. Alright, cool. They leveled up. That's good. Conchu shells. Uh, yep. Shell of a Conchu. The equal... Okay, yeah. And then monster fluid. So they just give us generic items, basically. Probably not a ton of reasons to fight them. Since we already have their uh, armor and stuff. But maybe we can make a better version of the armor. Who knows? Okay, I think I'm gonna go this way. This appears to be a very large Everton. Monstrous, some would say. Alright, hi, nerds. Um, I think the Great Baggy is still technical, like the Jaggy was, so that's something to keep in mind. Bluey. Unlike with Alwyn, when I got Alwyn, I felt like Alwyn was just like way stronger than me, but I actually feel like I'm a bit stronger than Avinia, which makes sense because they're using a hunting horn, but I do even more damage than Frostwing does, mostly because I'm exploiting an elemental weakness, of course, but it felt like even Reptar did more damage there. So I, I feel like I'm starting to catch up to the curve on party members. Alright, so... You're technical. 
So we need some power friends in here. Um, Mufasa's weak to fire. Let's bring in Mufasa. You'll probably be pretty good against this. Alright, and power attack. Oh wait, your speed. Whoopsie. My bad. Well, I just, I did a bunch of damage, but Mufasa's gonna fail, unfortunately. Alright, um, so yeah, your, your speed. So all three of the, or uh, all two of the baggies are speed. It doesn't appear to be a baggia, um, this time. To make things even more complicated, but maybe we just haven't seen one yet. I don't know. I'm hoping there's not baggias, though. 419, that is big damage. And... Pocket Snow. It really just does look like it's using, like, pocket sand. Out of here. Alright, and we can just, uh, go ahead and laser you to finish you off. So, goodbye. Eat laser. Boom. Dead. I love how that poisons, too. I really do like the Doofster. Doofy's, uh, Doofy's pretty strong, I think. Wyvern Barbs. Great Baggy Claw. Yeah, we've been over all this before. Nothing too crazy there. Alright, so... No real reason to go back there, I don't think. And... I should heal up Reptar. There we go, Reptar. Uh, okay, well this is probably, uh, what's, what's your McCollum's? You know, those things? Bottle caps, bottle caps, the things James likes to collect. You doing your little, your little sonic spin dashing? Look at you. I think you're special? Uh, let's go ahead and switch to this. How dare you sonic spin dash in front of me? What do you think this is? Oh yeah, that's a one hit. Okay, you guys go down super easily. Actually, I didn't even check. Could I instant kill you guys? I might be able to, actually. I haven't really been paying attention to that, but, uh... I might have been able to. But I do one-hit them. Which makes it a lot easier. Victory! Bunch of Conchu shells. Not really a lot of point in fighting you guys, except for the XP. Because, uh, I don't think I really need Conchu shells anymore. Unless there's like an alpha and beta version of the Conchu armor. But, and I think there was like a alpha beta version of the, uh, some of the other armors. So maybe there is, and maybe there is a reason for me to make a new upgraded Conchu armor. I don't know. But before I go deeper into the dungeon, I'm going to go check out this dead end over here as well. Whew. Yeah, it's nice to be in a new icy area, although the other area was quite cool too. I like the ice aesthetic. I hope we get to like big jungle at some point. Or the, um, honestly my favorite uh, looking area in, honestly a lot of games, the uh, Monster Hunter World area that was like, um, like, it was like in a, a dead uh, coral reef or something like that. I, I don't remember exactly what it what it was referred to as, but it was like a big coral reef looking area. That one was super cool. I like that one a lot, just visually and like as an idea <coughs> for an area. It was super super cool. So I like that one. I wouldn't mind being able to go to that area. And then there was also the um another area that was like a toxic kind of area. It's it's where you fought the big wolf thing. Uh, and it was like where all the dead things fell. And all the car uh, carrion eaters lived and everything. Oh man, my throat is like... You've been recording too long. I have recorded for quite a long time today. And, and these are hour-long episodes. But damn it, I love doing it. Alright. Goodbye, baggy. Next great baggy. Alright, and we should go ahead and switch to the doof. Come give it to him, doof. And kablooey. I should have used the, um... Multi-hit attack that I have. Thanks for the defense buffs. 
I like the little dance they do when they do hunting horn attacks. It looks like they're doing some kind of like... I, I don't know. It looks like they're like just going to town on a guitar. But they're just like wiggling their hammer a bit. Or horn. And... Lay slash. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, that is big damage. Ouchie, that looked like it hurt. And the Dooster's gonna try and poison you. A little bit late in the battle for that, but uh... You do you, Doofy. I think this will actually kill it. Um... Yep, the poison will, though. Sadly, this isn't Pokemon, friend. You can't... Uh... Live with one HP through poison. Actually, that's probably gonna require a bit more of an explanation, because I'm talking about... Wasn't there one of the Pokemon games where outside of battle your Pokemon still took damage from poison, but they couldn't die from it? And a lot of JRPGs and stuff do that now. It'll take you down to 1 HP, but it won't kill you. Um... New Gene Slots for Doofy. Uh, but... Yeah, I think that's not the case anymore. I just have memories of playing old Pokemon games and being like, Oh my god, I gotta get to a gym. I gotta get to a, a, a Pokemon Center. My Perkamurn's gonna die. Uh, okay. So, we got a new gene slot on Doofy. That was the only interesting thing that happened there, I believe. I was kind of off. I was kind of on a tangent. So. Well, hello. We can climb that if we had something that could climb. Well, hopefully after this little expedition out here, we'll be able to go slay ourselves the Tigrex. The big jerk. That thing is wildly hard to kill. Because I, I, I know people have done it before... I, or I don't know people have done it, but I imagine people have done it before they left that area. I'd be curious to see what sort of builds people had, or had, or if they just got, like, lucky? <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe it, maybe it comes down to luck a little bit, maybe I'm just not at uh, peak efficiency, which I never really try to be in games. I usually just like to play around with what looks cool and stuff, although if I can find something out that's pretty busted, I, I sometimes will choose to use it. If I like it. Uh, alright. Vines. Can someone tell me how vines are growing in this place? Those are some hardy vines. Very hardy vines, I would say. I was trying to do the little area scan, but since I'm riding Reptar, I just jumped. Oh well. I don't need to collect every little resource. Oh hey, it's one of those guys. One of, uh, whoop. One of the big, uh, big, uh, shark people. Mo oh, I said people. No, not shark people. That's different. Shark monster. Alright, over here. What do we got? Besides a treasure chest that hopefully has bottle caps in it. And that guy. Uh, don't we have a monster? Seriously, for this little puddle of water? I guess it is kind of like freezing or something, probably, but... Capacity S. What does that mean? Does that increase the amount of ammo I can hold, maybe? Low chance of extra ammo each turn when using the gun lance, yeah. Okay, not... Super crazy about that, um, at the moment, but we will keep it in mind. Alright, Zamite, were you... Technical. Oh yeah, I haven't looked at the field guide for these guys in a bit. Let's uh, check out the field guide. Um, so, uh, flying worms evolved. I, I think I haven't done these two. Hammer-like tails are both are great at both de self defense and felling trees. They primarily subsist on. Despite their gentle temperament, their strong frame and incredible power should not be underestimated. Flying wyverns that have evolved to live in thickly wooded areas. These sly beasts stalk their prey from the shadows with ferocious speed and dogged tenacity. Their massive tails are as dexterous as they are deadly and powerful enough to slay smaller monsters with one strike. Female flying wyverns, dubbed queens of the land, possess powerful legs and a deadly poisonous tail. Have incited hunting in pairs with ruthless efficiency. Huh. So all Rathians are female? I didn't know that. Or all Rathian. Herd forming herbivores covered in thick, long, thick fur. While docile in nature, they will use their great tusks to attack anything that threaten their young. Popo meat is nutritious and prized by gourmets. 
Nepterons, that roam in search of food. Coloration varies based on habitat. This variety is an icy blue. Without a sharp enough weapon, it is nigh impossible to scratch. Okay, yeah, that doesn't seem like it's different. Intelligent bird wyverns that hunt and pack and use special bodily fluids to tran uh, tranquilize their prey. Noted for their pale blue scales and sharp glare. Bluish white crested bird wyverns. Their ruthless cunning makes them natural leaders of baggy packs. These social predators craftily command other baggy to surround their prey and stun them with a tranquilizing fluid before finishing them off. Yeah, that's just rude. A young Xamtrios. They use sharp teeth to bore into prey before devouring it from the inside out. Ugh. Their jaws are extremely powerful and once they latch on, flailing around on the ground is the only way to let them- Ugh. They use their sharp teeth to bore into the prey and devour it from the inside out? Oh god, I hate them. I will now murder them every single chance I get. I hate it. Ugh. Oh, that's awful. This is why you read these things. You find little tidbits about this nightmare. Amphibian monster known for, its as for the astonishing changes that occur when they coat their bodies in icy armor. They are able to create this armor by spraying themselves with a special liquid that builds up in their bodies. Okay, and you're not weak to fire. You're weak to lightning. Break the stomach while it is swollen to boost the retreat rate. Okay. And... I guess we've looked at Anjanath before. These belligerent monsters will tenaciously pursue an attack without slightest provocation, burying their fangs deep in anything that strays too close. Yeah. And Monstipedia. And look at some stuff for them. Uh, yeah, so unsurprisingly, Nargakugas have incredibly high crit rates. Uh, what about you guys? Eh, you're kind of an all-rounder. Oh yeah, I wonder what m Eh, well, we haven't gotten a, m uh, Anjanath monster yet, although I do want one. Oh wait, the whole reason I went into that thing was I was going to check what, um, type of attack you were going to use. Wait, does it not tell you here? I thought it did. I think you're technical. I think you're technical. Which means we do actually want you out, Mufasa. Let's go. Hi. Okay, good. You don't have any of your nightmare children with you. Glad to hear it. We're glad to see it. Oh, wait. Sword's not good against you. That's fine. You're not weak to fire anyway. Aqua Shot doesn't seem like it'd be super effective against that thing. But... Okay, so... Gunlance or... Let's do the Raven. Um... Okay, so we gotta destroy the stomach when it's puffed up. Much like, uh, kinda reminds me of Jagras in that regard. It looks like, certainly looks like a Jagras when it's, um, doing that. Go ahead, puff up, I dare ya. I'll get me a new Zamtrios, I will. Oh, you might die before then. Oh, especially if you get into a Breath Blast with Mufasa here. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Father and son Kamehameha, get out of here. Um, do I have any paintballs? I don't think I made any more. Uh, no, I don't have any paintballs. So, sorry, you get to die. I could boost your retreat rate up by breaking your stomach, but I think you're gonna die before you get the chance. Yeah, you didn't puff up, you were just using your ice mantle. So, later, nerd. Okay, those guys go down pretty easy now. Their children are still terrifyingly horrible, though, and I hate them. Good, good. Fortune scales and a frost sack. Cool. Alright, so... Let's switch off Ludroth, just because... I don't know, man. It just really feels like Reptar runs faster than everything else. There might not be any merit to that assumption, but it certainly feels like that way sometimes. Oh no, not your terrifying little demon children. Oh well, at least I'll get to squash them like the vermin they are. I mean, I know these guys gotta eat too, but do, but do they have to do it in such a horrifying way? <laughs> like, do they have to? Is it required? Ugh. Out of here, nightmare creatures. Ooh. Okay, big damage to Reptar. Um... See here. Uh, 
Wrath is fire. I think Simone would actually be best here. You do the most damage. Which makes sense because of that big ass horn you got. So, and let's switch to hammer here. And we should be able to kill this thing pretty easily. Kablooey. All elemental attack up. That is what we need. Kabloosh. Big spin attack. Spin the wind doesn't work for you, unfortunately, friend. And I just realized that, yeah, hammer is not good against this part. Whoopsie. Go ahead and speed this up even more. Ooh, that still looks painful, man. Sorry, this is a Mario Party minigame. You're not going to win. I hate to break it to you. Or, I love to break it to you. Alright. And... Let's find out if Pierce is good against you. Um, oh wow, Pierce wasn't good either. And now it's speed. Which is bad. Oh, but you're gonna attack him, so it doesn't really matter. So you're only weak to Blazing Edge here. Well, go ahead and get him, boys. Bloosh. You die so fast, we can't even get all your monster parts. Alright. Ooh, Simon leveled up. Cool. Sonic Strike S. Light non elemental damage to one enemy. Very high chance to strike first. So, great. My Monoblos learned quick attack. Thank you. Very, very enthused about that. I also noticed we got like barely any points there, probably because I killed it too quickly. If I had to guess, we killed it very fast, to be fair. Whoa! Oh, hey! Treasure chest, maybe there's a bottle cap inside. Hey! I know you! I mean, we haven't seen one of you in this game yet, but... A Jade Baroth. Yeah, these guys were kind of annoying to fight. Um... I feel like you're gonna be that. Uh... Well, we'll see. Oh, uh, yep, your power. Cool. That was my fault for not healing up before the fight, by the way, so... Thank you, Avinia. Alright, so... Did fire work? It did. Not doing like crazy damage, but I'm doing alright. The blue she, big crit. And you're just gonna get double attacked again. It's cool that Baroths are here. I always thought Baroths look kind of funny. I think of, I always think their head looks like a giant toenail. I don't know. They just look kind of funny. When is the, um, when is the AC-130 gonna show up? I'm sure Nair Gigante and, like, Diablos and stuff are gonna make an appearance in this somewhere. They're probably a royal critter somewhere. Royal creature. Uh, could you not use Big Thrill? And say you did? Oh, you have Snow Mantle, too. Interesting. Okay, so is this also going to turn you into a speed monster? Now it's covered in snow. I feel like that's going to make you technical. I mean, it made the other one speed, but... I don't know. Um, let's see. If, you're, if your power... Let's, let's stay with speed for now, because this way we'll draw or we'll win. Depending on what you change into. Right? Or no, 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 wait, if you're technical, then we'll lose. Shit. Um, that is my bad. If I switch to power, technical, or speed, yeah. If I switch to technical... Okay, well, we'll tie then. So let's do technical. Because I'm not really sure what you are right now. I would guess speed, since when the other one did this, it turned into uh, a speed type. Nope, you're technical. Okay. But I also could see it being technical because it's like kind of a trick to cover itself in uh, snow like that. Alright, so we want uh, Simon in here. Come in here and impale it on your giant horn. I would love to get the, um, the uh, special built up with you again because that thing looked awesome. And I want to get a nice slow look at it this time. 
possibly get a thumbnail out of it because that stuff looks dope. That's right. No, don't put more snow on him. That's a horrible idea. Onslaught roar. Yeah, sure. Bluey. Okay, it's down. Just in time for us to have all elemental attack up. Okay. Oh, wow, it's down. Sure am. Okay, yeah, we haven't even seen one of those guys yet. Shell of a Jade Baroth. Its structure allows ice to easily form on its surface. Yeah, I think it was just regular Baroths in, um, World. So-called so a blow from it could easily cause frostbite. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna be taking your eggs now. You tried so hard to defend them. Oh, our expedition party returned. Okay, well, we can go back and check on that in just a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and see what all this is. Eight bottle caps. I think that was the last one. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, um, dismount. What you got for me? Please, I prayed and everything. Oh no, the eggs are all gone. Great, great, fantastic. Thanks, Everdin, for having one egg. Whatever. I won't cry much. Only a little bit. All right, we're out. Frozen Brute Wyvern. So is that a Theros? A Brute Wyvern? It makes me think of a, that, but I don't know. Oh my. That is very large. I'm guessing that's the royal critter for this area. Hello. That open, please. Thank you. Kuan Cruller. Thank you. Woodland. Yeah. A royal monster? Yeah, that thing looks terrifying. What is it? I don't even know. It looks like an elephant? Looks like an elephant of some sort. But it's very scary, that's the point. I'm staying away from that until for now. Let's ride the caravan back to Kuan, now that I've got the fast travel over here. And we can follow up on a few things. Um... I also do believe I have a amphibian egg, so we could go turn that in. Um, so yeah. Let's go over here and up our armor as well. Oh, my friend, uh, upgrade armor. The Zamtrios armor. There you are. Oh, I still need more Zamite scales. Damn it all. Good weapons. Can't do you yet, right? Yeah, we need more Rathian pieces. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, oop, sorry. Mike. Boom arm. I don't know why I'm apologizing to it. Uh, boom. There we go. Thank you. Cool, cool. All right, we did that. Um, so let's just go check in on this stuff and then I think we'll probably go fight some, uh, go try to fight a Tigrex again. Welcome back, Hatch Egg. Uh, Brute Wyvern. Oh, wait, yeah, no, that wasn't a. Yeah, never mind. I need an amphibian, man. Hatch all. Just turned in for that one quest. I had the Zamtrios, but I accidentally hatched it. Popo. Whoa. Look at that yellow. And three blues, actually. Okay, you got a lot of interesting stuff. And a Jade Bear off. And yeah, you've got some yellows and some blues. Okay. Well, how about we look at you guys? Oh yeah, Monster Expedition. So, what'd you get? 750 XP for all of you is very nice. Um, yeah, you learned a bunch of stuff. Very proud of you. Heft corn? Apparently have eight of those. Kuluyaku, that's corn, kolo, a mill wheat, and a finding charm. Cool. Um, select field. I'm actually gonna change you to here because I would like Rathians. Bumple pumpkin. Yeah, I would like Rathians. Oh, whoa, you can get Monoblos material. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if I defeat a Tigrex for the first time, if you'll then start getting Tigrex materials. Alright, well, yep, you guys keep doing that, I suppose. 
Do I actually? Yeah, depart. I have to do actually send them back out. Cool. I'll make sure your monsties are blah blah blah. All right. So now, um, let's see what we should do here. Um, Welcome. Forge weapons. Um, I can't make you yet, right? No. Hermitor? That's probably that thing I saw. The royal monster for this area, right? Um, I would have to guess. <laughs> Meaty Smash. Uh, <laughs> it's just a funny name it is. Uh, Valkyrie Cordmaker, Princess Rapier, yeah. Okay, I think we'll just go at it with what we've got. I don't really think I could make Baroth U armor, Rathian armor, Anja armor. I mean, this Rathian armor seems like about the best thing I got right now for dealing with this current problem. Thank you. Okay, and let's just do. Let's see, offer charm. I have a finding charm active currently for the next five minutes. Uh, adamant. I, th I think I would rather... Well, it's gonna one-hit me no matter what, right? I'll, I'll still make it active anyway. I hate to waste the last few minutes of that finding charm. I don't think I'm gonna get the paintball on uh, the Tigrex, so I don't think there's any point in wasting my time with that. I also need to make more paintballs. There we go. And yeah, I'm missing one of these, which are proving to be shockingly not useful because they don't work on the royal monsters and I can't remember if they worked on the story bosses or not. Alright, uh, Akala... I think the highlands are closer to where I want to go. And you do come with me, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, it's like right back here. Also, there, apparently there's a treasure chest I never got over here. I unfortunately haven't actually been able to beat a Tigrex yet, so I don't have any information about their stats or what they're weak to or anything. I could build a little bit better if I had that information, but I do not. Like, I've been in battle and I've lost against them, but that's it. So, hey big guy. If you wouldn't mind just rolling over and dying for me, that would be just dandy. Let me tell you how dandy that would be. It would be just great. So please do it. Alright. So, we are currently... I don't remember what you were again. Um... You want to say your power? No, I think, I think you were speed, weren't you? Because, you, I mean, you're a, a tiger. I think you're speed. I think you're speed. So, I'm gonna get Doofy out here. Doofy has a lot of defense, too, and we can poison you and everything, so... It'll be good in general just to have Doofy out here. So, you are speed. Good. Double attack. Go. Okay, we're not doing a lot to those, uh, parts. Which worries me. But, uh, yeah, if you can go ahead and get that poison down, Doofy, that would be great. Rock shooter. Okay, you took the hit at least. I mean, it's not in pissed off mode yet, but you did take the hit, which is nice. And it's inflicted with poison. Good. Uh, Doofy, are you using rock shield? Can you not? Uh, I think if I use poison gas, it won't work, right? So, I guess let's just attack anyway. I'll win the head-to-head, -head, so. And Doofy gave us elemental defense up, which I don't think matters against this particular enemy, but thank you anyway. Well, I took the hit very well. As long as you're attacking me, I think we're good. Okay, Doofy now smartly trying to burn it. Good, Doofy. That's- I- shift. Doofy's made a rock. You think hitting him with rock is gonna do anything? Alright, we got two DOT on this thing now. Now it's really mad. Um... I think you're power now, aren't you? Also, you're attacking Doofy. So I'm a bit scared. I- I wanna potion you up, Doofy. 
because it's going to attack twice now, so... And that puts me at enough to uh, use my ride attack next turn. Yeah, your power now. Ow! God, those crits. God, those crits. Ride. Uh, Doofy didn't heal up from that as much as I would have liked. Oh, no. But you don't... Well, you're still going to get one attack because you attacked twice. But you'll attack someone else, I think? Oh, wait, no, you didn't attack twice. I thought you did when you're in your pissed off mode. I thought that was what killed, almost killed me that one time. So badly. Okay, you're still pissed. We need to uh, heal Doofy up again. I don't know why Doofy is so insistent on using power attack. Oh, but wait, yeah, you can't use your technicals. That makes sense. We need speed. Get in here, Reptar. You can't take a hit as well, but you'll win the head-to-head, -head, so it'll it'll be better. Uh, yeah. So, boom. And mental attack up. That's good, because I'm using fire damage. 490. Come on. Oh, that's the really strong one. It actually does spear you. Like, it is straight up a spear, like we were, in, like we were wrestling. I... Th I can't tell if it's looking at me or if it's... I think it's looking at Avenia. Regardless, Avenia is healing me up, so I think we're good here to go for the attack. I think we're good. Uh, I think I want you to use Killer Strike, though. So, hit him with that. Yeah, I think you're going after Avenia, which... That attack might kill Avenia. Maybe. Oh, no, you hit Frostfang. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that poison's doing work. Doofy, Doofy is a godsend. Quite honestly. Okay, you're not pissed anymore, which means you're back to speed. Which means, Simon, come on out here. Um, I feel like you're getting pretty close to dead here, right? Uh, should I try... No. Let's switch to the gun lance so we have extra defense. Uh, and I'm just going to throw a paintball at it. And I hope that it's almost down. I hope that it's almost down. So we got the increased defense. We're not going to take nearly as much damage from this. Boom. Only 50. Kabloosh. Now it's really mad. That's not good. Um, it looks like you're attacking Avenia. Um, we need to go ahead and switch back to... Oh, shit, I have the Poison Chasers on that. I should have been using the Raven. Or, or I should have switched to it right then. I didn't realize it was still poisoned. Does Doofy's poison, like, not last a certain amount of turns? Does it just last forever? Interesting, if so. Uh, is there anything we can do here? I mean, we still have three hits left, so I'm pretty confident in our ability to do this. Boom. Cross strike. We luckily still have the raised defense, although I think that's elemental defense. Okay, there's your attacking twice. Yeah, it does exist. Um, Reptar. Okay, I think I can take a hit. I think we're good. The real question is, can Avenia take a hit? Or can, does she go before this thing? I don't think she does. Oh, this is the fang combo. Okay, she does. This is the fang combo thing. It's quite scary, actually. But you're not going to get to use it. Yes! Salute during your... Yes! No! You fool! Ah, damn it. I finally kill one and... Nope. No, uh... No egg for me. Unfortunately, but hey, we've we've successfully killed a Tigrex. It or, sl or defeated slain a Tigrex. Whatever, hunted a Tigrex. We beat it, so that's cool. I'm happy with that. One thing I would really like to do is find a Rathian to slay. Really quickly, that would actually be quite dandy if that could happen. 
Um, I don't remember if we're at the end we're just hanging out or not on the overworld. I know Yon Yon Garugas were at some point. But I might have to go into like a den to get them. Might have to go into a den to get them. Well, I really wanted a Tigrex, damn it. I even got the paintball down, but at least the next fight will be easier. Oh yeah, and we can look at it uh, here in the field guide as well. Monsterpedia. So what are you weak to, big guy? Uh, oh yeah, a subspecies of Bareth found in colder climates that coats themselves in ice and snow for protection. They are known for bashing their overgrown crowns into the ice and subsist primarily on Banabra. Um, why are you guys so late in here? Weird. Why is that? Oh, it's because they're the special versions of all of these. Oh, okay. I didn't realize those were going to get their own entry. So wait, where was this? Ah, oh, here it is. Primeval in appearance, these flying wyverns possess fearsome limbs, jaws, and claws. Capable of unleashing an ear-splitting roar, they will roam to the far reaches of the coldest climates in search of prey. That's weird. I would expect you to be in the other area, then. But you're only weak to... Lightning. Unfortunate. Okay. Well. I'm sure we'll be able to get another one of you sometime... I'm just gonna run into a few of these dens to see if I can find a Rathian really quickly. Uh, nope, just a just a good Gaduga. Hey, I guess I'll kill you. Um, I mean, why not? We get a little bit of XP for it, so, and I might need more Yanguruga parts. Alright, what is this? Ludroth? Okay, it would be cool if I got an amphibian thing, too. That would actually be pretty nifty. Yes? Amphibian? No, that's, uh, something. Oh, hey, a rare. I think that's a rare... Arzuros? I'll take it. Whatever it is. It's, it's rare. It's got some good genes. If I really want an amphibian, I need to just kill a Ludroth and paintball it. But I can get a... I can just get a, um... What's it called instead? Go away, Jaggy. I have upgraded to the Baggy. You are nothing to me now. I guess I can just wait for my, um... My what's it called? My, uh, expedition to get back. Because, um, they might bring me some Rathian pieces as well. So let's just head back to Kuan Village. Sounds like a good idea to me. <clears throat> Alright. Kabloosh. Do you have to throw us on the ground every time? You know, my back's gonna be feeling this in a few years. You jerks. Oh yeah, let's go look at the Tigrex weapon is. We probably can't make it yet, but... Tiger Jaw Blade. Whoa, that looks gnarly. The Striped Striker. Okay. Well, those look cool. And they are very, very high damage. But let's go over here and investigate some things really quickly. See what these uh, new things we got are and maybe do some rider channeling. So. Oh, it's just you. So I'm pretty sure this is a rare Azuros. Yep. Defense and max HP. What do you got? Uh, okay, you got two things. Rider channeling. Let's see here. So, you're still looking pretty dope, all things considered. Um, you're okay, Doofy. I might be able to give you some updated stuff. Um, let's look. Do we got any... We got any strength blues? Strength blues. Strength blues. Oh yeah, I forgot Jam has a, uh, thingy too. A rainbow. Maybe I could just give that to you. Might not be the worst idea ever. I mean, Jam doesn't really have anything super important. We'll see. Um, uh, Strength Blue. Okay, cool, you got one. But it's Water Soak. Which is just wretched water. 
I should go ahead and give that to you, though. I'm finding out- I'm having a hard time finding, um... What's it called, uh... Uh, like, the normal nodes, the, like, gray slash white ones. I'm having a hard time finding speed versions of those. Well, speak of the devil, there it is. Sleep gene. So, yeah. That might be good. And you have critical eye, too. I feel like I just need to, at some point, probably just go ahead and upgrade to you, right? Rather than keep using Reptar. Especially since Reptar is weak to ice, which will make you effectively useless in this entire area. Yeah, maybe we retire Reptar and get a great baggy. Uh, yeah, we might do that. We might do that. We also got one of you now. Cool, what is this? Partner gene? Makes kinship gauge feel faster at 50% HP or less. No thanks. <laughs> That's spooky. Uh, you're pretty good though. You are pretty good. You got warming, which is cold resistance. Ice spear. Marginally boost ice defense. Critical IM. Okay. Well, uh, I think we're gonna retire Reptar. For now, I don't think I'm going to get rid of Reptar. If I did, I would probably grab the rainbow off of here. I mean, I just feel like Reptar is terribly outdated by this point, right? You're a rarity two mon. And like, I don't know, you just don't seem as good anymore. But, uh, uh, but all of that aside, Ludroth, you, you got some stuff. We can get, we can get you some stuff. Get you crit healing? I don't particularly care though. I could just give you a better version of this skill. Yeah. Crit healing doesn't even seem like it would be that good. I'm gonna be honest. Like sure, being able to heal when you crit's nice, but you kind of have to build around it and I would rather do more damage than heal off of crits. All right, and what is this? Uh-huh, you. Okay, so... Yeah, we can't upgrade that anymore. I could give you a water resistance gene. All-out gene L. Deal medium water damage. Oh. Okay, and if I put this here, we will get extra water damage, which might be nice. Hmm. But... If I do something else, I could get, like, double here. Like, if I get a rainbow gene instead? Of course, we could, um... That's just a critical he healing S. Let's grab... the water resist gene... out of you, I think. Um, but yeah, let's grab that. And we can put it, like, right here. Me thinks. So that'll boost your water damage a little bit. And then I think what I'm also going to do is give you this rainbow gene off this Arzuros. I think that won't be the worst idea in the world. Um, question is, oh yeah, I want it to go in the middle for sure. For sure, for sure, I want it to go in the middle. And then Jam has one too, so I could hook you up with that as well. I might be putting too much into my, my boy Mufasa here, but I really like Mufasa, okay? I really enjoy Mufasa. So... And we don't really have another... Well, I guess we do have another power that I really like, and that would be Simon. Which your strength... You know what, let's look at you. What, what else can we do with you? Um, maybe give you some rainbow genes. What do you got? Dash, ground trimmer? No thanks. Rock Gene, Rock Stampede. Nope. What is this? Rampage, Lethal Tackle. I definitely don't want you having that. God, that ability was annoying. Increases user's attack and crit rate. Very, negates Stench, very low chance of activation though. Okay, we need more... Um, of these healing. Of course, small amount of users... Yeah, no, you're not getting that. Health up. That could be good. That would require me getting rid of you, though. Healing. Oh, 
Healing Gene XL. Heartfelt Gift. Stores one heart to an ally. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Okay. That'd be pretty integral in some fights, I think. Being able to use that. Okay, maybe we want to level you up, Popo. Uh, what did you have? Bellow. There's just not a lot of good options for, uh... For you here. Um, but you do have the L version of Tumble. Um, and you do have the L version of that. I think... What I want to do is... Put a rainbow in the middle here. Just to increase your damage a little bit, so... Let's get rid of Jam. I'm not really using Jam at all. And let's put this right here. Right? Right. Cool. Simon, congratulations. You are marginally stronger. I am very proud of you. Mm hmm And we need to unlock more of your genes before I can make you even stronger than that. But we're looking pretty good there so far. Pretty good. And Mufasa still has room for some improvement in some places, but we need to get more more strength blues. But yeah, this is this is going on for a long time. How's my monster expedition doing? Eight more minutes. We'll get that next time. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Monster Hunter World. And or oh god. Monster Hunter World, no, sorry, I keep saying it so much. Uh Monster Hunter Stories 2. Uh and I will see you next time.